two, one, and here we go. All right, I'm the Rod Smalls, and yes, this is Rise of the Black Warrior Podcast. All right, so we are live here in the studio, and if you are watching me, you see what's going on, but for those audio guests who are checking us out on, uh, on our podcast via audio, I'm going to explain to you what's going on in the studio. All right, today is the the first guest ever to appear on our show, and his name is D.O.G. It's crazy that my very first guest can't speak English. He can speak, but not English. And this is my dog, and to give you guys some uh, background on him, this is a two-for-one podcast today. So I came home one night about six years ago, and on my stoop was this guy, okay? And we tried our best to make a long story short, we tried our best to find his owners, but we could not. My wife did not want to give the dog a name because the kids, after a while, you know, would get attached. So she just called him Dog, like D-O-G. And after a while, when we realized, hey, this guy's a part of family. We can't find his owners. He became D-O-G. D-O-G is his name, and uh, sitting here in the studio is his game with me today. And we're going to dive into today's message. All right, so here's the thought for today in a conversation that I'd like you to continue on after this podcast. So this week in jujitsu at my gym, Brooklyn MMA, shameless plug, I love my gym. So I'm in my gym and I'm rolling with my coach, the professor, Lucas, who is a black belt second degree in jujitsu. This guy is awesome and he is a terror on the mat. Now, rolling with this guy, I got myself hurt, all right? I basically sprained, tore, had whatever it is. I'm still trying to figure it all out. MRI's coming back about what's going on with the ligaments in my leg. Now, this is not the first time I got hurt rolling with my coach. Now, my coach is, is a, you know, he's a phenomenal athlete, doesn't mean to do me any harm at all, loving coach, but it does happen. Now, some people are saying, well, why would you keep rolling with these high-level coaches? Why would you keep doing this? And I have a very simple answer. It's the only way to be great. If you want to be great, you got to take on great challenges. The bigger the man is the bigger the problems that he faces. We talked about this before, all right? If you want to look at a man and grade him, you can grade him by the challenges that he faces, the obstacles that he goes up against. You can't become great at anything without the challenge. See, some people want to take the path of least resistance. They just want to go the easiest way they could possibly go without ever really challenging themselves. And I'm going to tell you this, you'll never be awesome, you'll never be great if you don't take on a big challenge. Now, yes, there's a possibility of you getting hurt. Yes, there's a possibility that you won't succeed. But that's the only way you can push yourself to being excellent and to being great is to have people around you that push you. Now, I know it's easy to be around people who like us and they just agree with everything that we say. But you'll never know if you're really doing the right thing or if there is a better way if everybody around you says yes. If I kept a bunch of people around me that agreed with everything I say, there would never be an opportunity for me to grow and find out if I could be better than I'm being right now. And if I only rolled, which is jujitsu terms for practicing, uh, you know, jujitsu with a a friend, if I rolled with uh, people who I knew I could beat, then I would never ever excel and elevate. But the risk is that you could always get hurt. The risk is that when you, you're hanging out with somebody who will challenge you, that they could hurt your feelings. Not that intentionally, right? So, you know, they're not intentionally looking to hurt you, but they would tell you the truth, the honest truth, which gives you an opportunity to grow. So look into your life. Look at the people around you. Look at the, the situations that you put yourself into, Right? Are you around people who are challenging you? Are you doing something every single day that can help lift you up? And yes, are you taking the risks that could find that you could find yourself getting hurt in, but would give you 
and afford you an opportunity to grow, going up against the great. Now, for a little while, I am going to have this brace on my leg. I got it. Yep, it's going to be hurting for a little while. It's going to be a little challenge to, uh, to move around. But when I come back, when my leg heals, it'll be stronger. And more importantly, my will will be stronger. My mindset is stronger. And I have learned what not to do so that I become a better jujitsu practitioner and moving closer and closer to my black belt. All right. I am a future black belt in jujitsu. What do you think about that, DOG? I think that's great. Okay. All right. I won't do that again. But either way, that's, uh, that's it for me and DOG giving you guys a word. Hey, take on some big challenges. Bring people into your world that will challenge you. Be willing to take the hits. Know that, yes, you can get hurt and know that you will break some eggs when you're trying to make breakfast. But the deal is, if you're willing to take the risks, take the hits, and go through the recovery process every time that you're challenged and you fall, you will be better and you will be closer to your excellence and better for it as a person. That's all I got. So, you guys, I hope that you continue to check this out, share our message here. Uh, if you know somebody who could use a message like this, definitely share it with them. Like and subscribe. You can check us out on iTunes, Spotify, and definitely watch us as me and DOG get this thing done here in studio on our YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. All right, guys, have an awesome day. And remember this, you are only one decision away from changing your whole world. Peace.